This is problem set 4.7, and uh, let's see, 1 through 28, we've already done several of those. Um, let's do number 22, though, because that one uh, looks a little bit trickier. I think you'll notice, though, as we go through here, it's really not. We do what's in the, we do what's in the radical sign. 6 times, six, square root of 64 is 8. 11 times square root of 100 is 10. Now we multiply these, plus multiply these, add those together, and we're done. All right, so if you look at um, 29 through 32, they're just asking you to determine which one, I mean, whether each of those is true or false, what they're doing here. So, for example, number 30, they took the square root of 16. Oh, no, they didn't. They took 16 over 25, and they did this, and they asked if, is this true, is this the same thing? And the answer to that is yes, because... Um, what this means is the square root of 16 over 25 means we take the square root of this one and then we take the square root of that one. So square root of 16 is 4, square root of 25 is 5. Um, it could be written as 16, or you could solve it by doing this, taking the square root take 16 divided by 25 and get some kind of crazy decimal and then take the square root of that and get an answer which you would get an answer of 0 0.80 because that's the decimal of that fraction but uh, just takes a lot more work whereas when you look at number 32 they have the square root of 100 minus the square root of 36 remember what I said you cannot subtract your radicals what you have to end up doing is take, well, let's do 100 minus square root of 36. You have to take the square root of that and square root of that and get that. This does not equal the square root of 64 because that would be 8 and that and that are not equal to each other. So just getting practice of some of the rules here. Um, the Pythagorean Theorem is what your story problems are all about, and so that's not too hard. It's kind of like the latter problem. And that's it for section 4.7, and you're done with chapter 4.